Put my foot to the pedal, pedal to the floor. I'm a rebel, I don't give a fuck about the law. Foot to the pedal, pedal to the floor. I'm a rebel, I'm ready to go to war. Foot to the pedal, pedal to the floor. I'm a rebel, I don't give a fuck about the law. I'm a night rider, I'm a high five, yeah, as I fly by, yeah, smell a whiff of blood, rubber from the tire, watch the shine from the rims, hypnotize, yeah, everybody wants to know, yeah, who's the driver, they call me the stick, hell yeah, I'm a fire. I'm Bill Mumford versus Louis Smithson. And Bill in the black shorts, Louis in the white shorts. And we know Bill, very calm and collected, very powerful striker, does his jiu-jitsu at the Roger Gracie Academy in Brighton under Cesar Lima. And that's a great school to come from, very technical and very high level jiu-jitsu there. It's very, it's, it's very interesting to see Mogford in this fight, so cool, calm and collected. Leading up to this, he's been very passionate, very outspoken at the weigh-ins. There was a bit of tension. They went head-to-head -head and some shoves were took place at the weigh-in. So it's interesting to see him so cool, calm and collected. I like to see that from a fighter. Very powerful hands. I was witnessing the gym myself when I saw him drop a heavyweight with a straight right hand. Lovely. So cool, calm and collected. Picking his shots, not wasting any energy at all. You see him with that, with that Taekwondo background that he has. He's got that points fighting system about him, but he's just got power at every strike. And what I think he's learned from his last few fights is that he was able to hurt his opponent, but then he ended up, he ended up not being able to finish. But he seems much more settled right now. Much more settled, a lot less movement sitting down on his punches, sitting down on his kicks. You can hear this crowd, so much noise from them, but he seems to have blocked it all out. Strictly business in there. Mofford looking to set up the fake save. He's twitching that rear hit and then come up with the teeth. Hey. Lovely, lovely with the spinning back kick. We see Smith, we see Smithson shaking his head to say no, which always means yes. And again, Smithson utilizing the kicks, but there's no real kind of vicious power on the end of it. He's got to make Bill worry about coming in. Smithson at the moment, he just seems to be waiting a little bit too, too long for me. He needs to come forward. He needs to get Mogford's respect. He's the shorter man in there. He has the shorter reach in there. He needs to close the distance himself. He cannot stay on the outside and counter fight because he gets picked off exactly as he's getting picked off right now. Let's see Smithson threat even threaten takedowns here to make Bill think downstairs when indeed Smithson comes upstairs. 100% it will open up his strikes much, much more. He's trying to play this point fighting game on the outside with someone that is longer and simply better than him in that realm. Some nice fakes being shown by Bill. He's using it to set up that rear teep. What I like from Bill is that he's very calm, not wasting any energy at all. He's in no rush, he's got three rounds to get the job done. And he knows that. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Lovely to see from Smithson coming with that left hook counter during the flurry. He gave Mogford something to think about. He can't just go there and throw wildly without worrying about what is coming back. 
I love that from Smithson. I want to see more of that from him. We see Mokford with a very experienced corner. We have Kenny Moyston and Elliot Boy Choi Hoy that recently just made his pro debut on the shock and awe. What we want to see from Smithson going into this next round, we want to see him closing the distance. We want to see him doubling up that jab, starting off with his hands and finishing. Go, go to the legs of Mugford. Mugford seems very balanced, very point. Go to his legs if you're Smithson. If you're Mugford, you want to see him doing the same thing, but maybe apply a bit more pressure. He's landing shots whenever he wants. We want to see more of that from him. Round two here, victory fights. The crowd, all of them are out of their seats, chanting, screaming. They're loving this fight. Looks like Mugford brought the whole of Brighton with him. Smithson now utilising the footwork on the outside. He's got to find a way in. He's got to move the head, fake the takedowns. And look for those counter punches, keep the hands nice and high. D Dean, exactly what you said. He needs to find a way in. He cannot stay on the outside and just get picked off like this. Beautiful hands from Mogford. What Mogford had is great balance and a lovely straight right hand. And he's constantly switching stances, constantly giving Smithson stuff to think about. Smithson working the power punches and there's the uppercut his corner was calling for. They want him to work that when Smithson puts his head down. That front teep from Mogford is absolutely fantastic. It really knocks the wind out of you. Smithson tries to take a moment to fix his glove. Mogford said no. Oh, lovely head movement from Smithson. But he needs more than that. You can't just move your head. You need to counter with something. Smithson now threatening the takedown. This is what we need to see from him. He can't end up on the bottom here. Mogford is brilliant from the top. He opts to stand up. Very interesting. Looking for the finish on the feet. Lovely teep to the body from Mogford. Smithson really needs to get off of that cage. He needs to cut, he needs to close the distance and he needs to come forward. Oh! Lovely head kick! Stop it! Absolute flans! Oh, tremendous! Smithson is rocked! He's rocked! Oh my god! Mugford, absolutely brilliant, great head kick, and he bounced. Cool, calm and collected, he knew this is what he was going to do, he knew this is what he needed to do, the whole crowd has gone absolutely mental, including me. Mugford said before the fight, he's pretty certain he'll get the KO from the standing, most likely a right hand or a well-delivered kick. And we saw that here as the crowd comes back down to the ground after being at the roof. And Mogford just wanted to say that his, his sponsors enabled him to train for this fight. He wants to give a shout out to Robinson Construction, Ginger Shot Lady, and of course, Kenshiro for all the help. Going on sicker than Devlin Rose artillery and pro to the verbs, I'll murder him quicker. One word, I'm a sinner. 